Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about how to navigate the Blackboard Institution page. This is the page that you'll be taken to when you first log in to Blackboard. This institution page contains important information and resources for both faculty and students. Clicking on the activity stream allows users to see what's due, what needs their attention in their courses, and items are sorted into important upcoming today and recent categories. You'll see that I don't have any activity stream messages here yet, so I'm not going to see any activity. Clicking on the organizations link brings you to the organizations page. Here, your organizations behave like courses and contain tools that enable group members to communicate effectively. Users can post information, have discussions, and share documents. Groups that might use organizations include academic departments, study groups, and extracurricular activities. You'll see here that I have one organization. Clicking into that organization would take me into that organization's page. The calendar link provides a global view of all events and dates related to your user experience. All due dates and meetings created by faculty in all of your courses will appear automatically on the calendar. Events that students add appear on your personal calendar only. The user is the only one who can view personal events. Clicking on the Messages link allows users to access the Global Messages page. Messages are organized by course. You can see messages include a number, which indicates how many messages you have that are new to you. They allow you to ask quick questions and make social interactions. You'll want to be sure to use the preferred method of communication noted by your instructor, as some faculty may opt to use their college-issued email. Using the Messages tool allows you to send messages to each other, multiple people, or an entire class. Messages activity remains inside the Blackboard system, and no one has to worry about email addresses that may be incorrect or outdated. Clicking on the Grades link allows users to access all of your courses grading tasks from the Global Global Grades page. Here you will see a list of recent grades and your overall grades for each course. You will also see newly posted grades in the activity stream and can navigate to the individual course from this area. Clicking on the assist link, which is new, provides you with a central hub for both online and on-campus resources. You can try out any of the listed services and subscribe to those that best suit your needs. The item that will be most important to you from this menu is likely the courses link. Clicking on the Courses link will bring you to the Courses page. From here, you can use the Upcoming Courses option located in the upper right-hand side to view your upcoming courses, similar to a Next option. You can also use the Term Code, which appears in the upper left, to view previous term courses, similar to a previous option. But the page that you were brought to initially when you click on courses is the current course list. This will show all of the courses that you are currently enrolled in. This is the default view. You'll notice that I'm viewing my courses using the gallery view or grid view. Some users will likely see their courses listed as a list. You can use the view that you prefer. Clicking on the star icon in any one of your courses will bring that course to your favorites area. Scrolling up or down on the page will show you the list of all of the courses you're enrolled in. Your favorites will be listed at the top. As a student, you're going to see a course called Central Skills for Attending Courses Remotely or Online. Something similar may be listed in your course list. This course is a student orientation course and is meant to provide you with essential information that will help you navigate the Blackboard environment. Additional videos and resources to help you can be found within this course. To click into any course, you're going to click on the title. In most cases, the first page you'll see within a course is the announcements page. From here, there will be instructions to assist you further.